Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Mosley, and I'm one of the pulmonary medicine physicians here at Fayetteville Diagnostic Clinic, a MANA clinic here in Northwest Arkansas. I wanted to talk a little bit today about the importance of different types of inhalers. You know, we've used inhalers in this clinic for years, and they really are the cornerstone of therapy for all types of pulmonary diseases, including asthma, emphysema, and COPD. Unfortunately, a lot of people have trouble remembering how and when to use their inhalers, and a major common cause of people having trouble with their breathing diseases is not using their inhalers correctly or not using them at all. And so today I was gonna to spend some time going over the different types and how to use them. So there are two major subtypes of inhalers. One is called a metered dose inhaler. The way that a metered dose inhaler works is that there is a dry powder that's inside of there that becomes activated when you turn it. The important thing about using a metered dose inhaler is to make sure that you turn it fully and engage the meter. And also the second big step is making sure that you take full deep breaths when you use the inhaler. For all inhalers, it's important that you do the same thing every time around the same time every day. The first thing is to make sure you're doing like I am and standing straight up. Sitting down or lying in bed is not a good way to use your inhalers. The second thing is to relax Take some time to make sure that you have everything that you need in front of you and then when you're ready to use your inhaler, make sure that you're standing fully up and then ready to take a deep breath. The third step is to activate your inhaler and we're going to have some separate videos that are going to show the different types of inhalers there are and how to activate them, but I'm going to show you this one today with an Advair discus. So the way it works is you open the inhaler, once it's activated, you're going to relax Stand fully upright and take a full deep breath into your lungs. Hold your breath for about five seconds and then relax. And that's it. The second type of inhaler that we often see used, and there's many different types of this, is what's called a soft mist inhaler. These are also called HFAs. And these come in a lot of different varieties and a lot of different flavors. As you can see, it also has a meter on the back that counts the number of doses. The difference being this inhaler requires a little bit of timing. You have to take a deep breath at the same time that you push the button. The other name for this is called a press and use inhaler. For that reason, it's better to use a spacing device when you use soft mist inhalers. As you can see, they fit into the back of the spacer and then the mouthpiece comes on the other end. When you use these, it's important to push the button put your mouth on the other end, and then take three to four slow, steady breaths in and out while they're inside the chamber. That allows the medicine to go deep down into the lungs where it belongs. The most important thing again with this inhaler is to remember to use it at the same time every day with your standing fully upright and ready to use it. Two more important details that I wanted to go over with you. The first is if your doctor is prescribing you an inhaler that has steroid in it, which they should tell you that at the time of the visit. It is very important that you avoid a major complication from those inhalers, which is thrush. Thrush is a yeast infection that can occur in your mouth and throat related to the steroids. It is very, very important that you use inhaled steroids correctly to avoid this complication. And so every time you're using an inhaler that involves inhaled steroids, it's important that you wash your mouth out and brush your teeth following that, as well as rinse your mouth out with some sort of mouthwash. The other best way to avoid the complication of thrush with inhaled steroids is to use a spacer device. So if you're using an inhaler that has a soft mist and the spacer device is available, I would use that to avoid thrush. Lastly, oftentimes people will experience cough symptoms when they're attempting to use their inhaler. Cough is a major problem with almost every lung disease, but if you happen to notice that you have a significant cough during the attempted usage of your medicine, it's important to start over and redose for that day.